Well, hi everybody, this is Dr. Moore. I'm at Restore the Peaks and Spine Center. I have the pleasure today of operating on a great guy, Eddie here. Eddie is actually uh, having a knee arthroscopy today. I'm operating on his right knee. So if you look down over here, you can see his right knee. I actually, I'm in the knee already. My arthroscopic camera is inside the lateral portal and I have a shaver device, a mechanical shaver device here that's in the medial portal. And I'm actually in the knee, there's already water inside. Then we look at the monitor, you can see that I am in the knee and the sharp instrument here is actually already doing the shading. But what you may not know is that Eddie is actually wide awake right now. I'm actually doing this procedure under local anesthetic. The knee has already been numbed up. We have an anesthesiologist physician here that's provided anesthesia just for about five minutes to allow me to inject the knee that's been done, that was done uh, 15 minutes ago. The patient is wide awake. Hey Eddie, how are you doing? I'm doing perfect, man. You feeling good today? Oh, I'm feeling really good. How, how does your knee look? Isn't that pretty amazing? That's amazing. I mean, look, we're inside your knee and you are looking at it live right now. And there's no epidural. Uh, there's very little drugs in your system right now. And this is me doing the work. Now, are you pretty comfortable? Yeah, you know what? I'm glad my meniscus went out with you. You know what? You guys are do you know what day it is today, Eddie? Today is the 5th. 5th, March 5th. Wide awake, he knows where he's at. He's alert and oriented. I'm operating, I've already done some shaving. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm just trying to get this plica out of the way here because you can tell the monitor, there's a plica that's blocking my, my way. I need to kind of get it out of the way so I can get down to the money. Okay, and, and uh, what we're gonna do here in a second is, let's see if we can get in here now. We'll go like that, there we go, that's a lot better. And, and then we go like this. Okay, we're gonna put a little pressure on your knee, okay? Just a little bit of pressure. And we're gonna be able to see. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. A little, a little tight. There we go. Okay, good. So we are in the knee. That's the medial meniscus right there. Isn't that awesome? And hey, you know what I can tell you right now? Look how smooth that surface is. Yeah. It's beautiful. It looks like a, 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 a cue ball, right? Pool. And this surface looks gorgeous. Your meniscus tear is way back there. See that those little things that look like hangnails? Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is trim that. So that's what we're doing. So once again, folks, I just wanted to show you and prove to you that local anesthesia is possible for, for knee arthroscopy, especially simple, simple knee arthroscopy. But the patient uh, selection is important and the technique is critical. There's a lot of details uh, that a lot of doctors don't know about, uh, but, th but those details are important to be able to do that. There's a lot, uh, if you look at the monitor, you can see uh, the medial meniscus tear, it's called a complex tear. It's a complex tear because it's in a lot of little pieces. It looks like numerous little hangnails. You can zoom in on that uh, if you can, please. See all those little pieces? This is not something you repair, it's just something you trim. So here's my little Pac-Man type of device right there, the little shaver. It, it trims and sucks at the same time. And there we go. See, I'm going like this. I'm only, I'm only taking what easily comes uh, to me with a suction. I'm not trying to remove normal meniscus. I'm only removing this friable, damaged uh, meniscus, cleaning it up. The little fragments were catching and locking, and I know there's a hidden fragment there that I saw on the MRI, but as you can see, I'm just trimming, smoothing, and buffing. I call this, I call this a knee manicure. Trim, smooth, and buff, and maybe a little polish. So this is a partial meniscectomy. There we go, it's already looking better. The other tool that we have is another little biting device. It's like a fingernail trimmer, fingernail cutter. Do you see that, Eddie? You see that little piece right there that's hiding? Yeah. It, does, it can't hide from us. And, and once again, Eddie, you're still awake, right? Yes, sir. All right, and you're, and you're probably waking up even more, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, because uh, we gave you a little bit of medicine in the beginning. This is not a twilight surgery. You know, a lot of people say, oh, it's twilight. It's not twilight, it's daytime. Daytime surgery, right? You're awake and you know what's going on and you're watching, right? So once again, it takes a lot of details to do this, including what I'm doing right now. I'm giving the knee a little bit of a break. See, I gave the knee a little bit of a break because I was, I was pulling on him uh, and the pressure from my post can hurt the patient sometimes. So I take a little break and then we restart. Before I restart, I'm going to just okay. I go like this. I take the little pieces out that I've already uh, bitten because they're, they're already 
right there, they go right there, and boom. And if it's, so this is a partial metastectomy, everybody, once again, let's focus on the screen. Uh, just trimming the torn little pieces of meniscus. The patient is wide awake, uh, arthroscopic surgery uh, with local anesthesia being performed right now. So I wanted to uh, thank Eddie here on camera for allowing us to do this, right Eddie? Uh, and I really wanted to thank him for, for allowing us to videotape this and share it later on. Thank you guys. Over and out. Thank you. Dr. Mar here, I'm just taking a, a, a one minute break here to let his knee take a break. That is one of the uh, finer details of doing uh, arthroscopy in a local anesthesia. Patient is wide awake. So I'm going to give you guys a few tips if you're planning on doing this. Number one is you need to be patient and you have to have a patient, a uh, doctor and a patient. Uh, uh, patient. Uh, number two is the anesthesiologist has to be on board. The anesthesiologist has to provide just enough uh, Diprovan, fentanyl, just enough and the right amounts just to put them down for a few minutes to allow me to do the shots. The injections are lidocaine with marcaine. 60 cc's in total, 30 cc's into the joint, 15 cc's into each portal site, and as you're injecting, pretend that you're doing arthroscopy. So follow the portal trajectories. After that, this is the money is, you have to compress the knee, and this is all being done uh, before the patient is prepped and draped. So remember, before the patient is prepped and draped, it's all being done before prepping and draping. So that way, by the time uh, the, the surgeon is um, scrubbed, then uh, the anesthetic has already taken effect. So the key point here is, if I'm going to emphasize anything, is you have to do it before you prep and drape. That's, uh, at least do that. If you don't do that, you're going to, uh, you're going to uh, fail. It's just not going to work. And the patient will end up having uh, a lot more anesthesia because they won't be able to tolerate it. So if you're going to do this, Please do it before you prep and drape. I'm just finishing the synovectomy. There's the HCL. I already finished the partial metastectomy. It's already done. It's way over there. It looks beautiful. Way different than when we first started. The knee still looks gorgeous. The patient's still awake. He's actually more awake now. And the last part that I'm going to do, I'm going to check this lower compartment. And just to go back to the tips, Jer uh, sorry, can you relax, Eddie? You re relax and let me tag your leg again, okay? There we go. So. What you just heard was me talking to the patient. It's very important that you're able to talk to the patient to have them do what you need them to do. So if the patient has uh, benzodiazepines on board, they will not be they won't be able to remember because they forget within a minute if, if they have two, uh, if they have any any hypnotics or sedatives. Uh, so once again, those are the tips. Okay, don't give the patient anything that's good, that's going to give them an amnesia and and make sure the patient is wide awake so that they can relax and actually so they can follow commands give the anesthetic a long time to work 30 cc's of a mixture 1% lidocaine with quarter percent width in the joint 15 cc's into each portal follow the tra trajectories insert the, the, uh, the capsule or sorry the injected capsule uh, cycle the knee that means flex it and extend it over and over and over to to move the local throughout the joint, and then you go prep and, and then you go wash your hands, and then you prep and drape. Okay, once again, Dr. Steve Mora and Eddie. Eddie, why don't you say bye to everybody? Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dr. Mora. Let me know if I can help you with uh, local anesthesia for your knee arthroscopy. Thank you, bye.